Hey guys, I want to do a short video on, uh, this is really regarding like AMC, GameStop, all the other meme stocks. It seems like there's always more and more shares available to short. It seems like the prices just keep going down and down and down. And it's the opposite of supply and demand, which is what the market's supposed to be based off of. And basically, if there's high demand and low supply, the price is supposed to rise until the supply increases. Basically, you get some, you know, the price increases, you get some more sellers in that area, and then the price stabilizes until the price rises or declines. But the meme stocks are just going down, which is the opposite of what people are doing, which is buying them, and they're holding the shares, so the supply should be even smaller. The demand is high, the supply is short, but yet the prices are going down. And I'm gonna give you just a, a brief hypothesis on why I believe that's the case. And also, why I believe that our shares that we have purchased are actually being used to short the stock. And I'll explain that. So, um, Okay, so we got Joe over here's retail. We got the market maker here in the middle. Um, Okay, so we've got Joe, he's got his app on his phone. He places an order, which I'll do in red, to buy 10 shares, okay? This is a pretty simple order flow process. So he places the order for 10 shares, it goes to a self-clearing broker. A self-clearing broker means that that they will clear, that they will settle the transactions with the market makers and you, they will do it themselves. They have the capital on hand. They will go to settle. They will do the, okay. They're gonna, they're the ones that are gonna go and, and actually settle the transaction for T plus two and, and buy the shares from whoever it was um, on your behalf when T plus two comes up, okay? So the self clearing broker initiates the order for 10 shares from the market maker. The market maker can then list the transaction as long or short, okay? And it's super important that you understand how long the long transaction is listed. So for long, they either they have shares on hand or, okay, this is the big gotcha. My writing is bad, apologize. But, or they have reason to believe they can locate shares by settlement, okay? It's extremely important that, that we understand that caveat within how the long transaction is listed. We're not even gonna pay attention to short because I don't think that's what's happening. They're not, they're not, they're, market makers are allowed to say, I don't have any shares I'm gonna sell them as short. What they're gonna do is they're listing them as long, okay? They're, they, and, and that's why it's super important that we're just gonna focus on the long side of, of the transaction. 
So the market maker says, I think I can get 10 shares. Okay. So he's like, he's going to say, return here 10 shares as an IOU. Okay. So now there's 10 shares that the self-clearing broker will hold for Joe in, in an IOU form. Okay. Or a credit. There, they have a big, big uh, pool here of let's say 100 shares. Okay. And 10 of those are earmarked or credited for Joe. They're not listed in here under Joe's name. And that's important because what's happening is, is these shares that this broker has, let's say that this self-clearing broker has 100 shares of, uh, you know, XYZ stock. Those are in what's called street name. Okay, they are not a DRS, which is direct registration. Which would be in Joe's name. Okay, they're literally just credited out of this pool of 100 shares to Joe's account. That's all they are, okay? So um, when T plus two comes, or the day before, what happens? Because this is not settled out. This whole transaction is not clear, nothing's happened. The broker is gonna come out and say, hey, um, we, need to, we need to settle. And he's gonna talk to the market maker. He's gonna come out here and they're gonna to wanna to swap shares, okay? And oh, well actually there's another piece. So this market maker that sold a long transaction from here, okay, he's gotta go out and he has to deliver those shares to this guy, to, 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 this, to this broker right here, okay? So let's say that there's another broker over here, okay? And he's got 500 shares. So the market maker is going to be like, hey, I sold broker A uh, 10 shares. I need to buy 10 shares from you so I can deliver them. Okay. Well, what's basically happening is, is when it comes time to, to settle, this is when there's shares available. He'll buy 500 shares from, from this guy and then he'll sell them to, to this broker over here and they'll be credited to Joe, okay? That's basically how it would work in a, in a normal scenario if they know that they can locate shares. But what I think has been happening is is come up for T plus two in the day or the day before. Okay. They are not settling. And basically what they're doing is they're they're starting a a long transaction. And they are moving it to an FTD, which basically is he's not going out here and buying any of these shares. Okay, they're not actually going out here and settling anything. Okay, because let's say that that there's only 
a share here and and this guy has has one has uh this guy has one share as well okay but joe wants wants 10 shares okay the market maker when he comes in he's like oh well joe wants 10 shares i know that i don't know if i have i, I think i can find some but i'm not sure so he does it as long he comes over here to this guy or maybe another one it's got two he's like well I can't find enough yet I'm just gonna um, we're just not gonna settle I'm just gonna wait we're just gonna um, we're just gonna FTD this whole transaction for a later date okay whereas Joe still got a credit in his account for 10 shares okay so let's say that uh, let's say that Molly over here she wants to buy 100 shares okay so she goes to her her broker okay 100 shares I know this is I'm gonna wipe this out um, but basically there's, there's not enough shares that are available in the system, but she still has a buy order. The market maker has to fulfill that. So he's still gonna list it as long, okay? Because he has reason to believe that he can find those shares. But he's like, I know that I can't. I'm still gonna issue uh, Sally her 100 shares, okay? And that's held in here um now the broker now has a credit for 100 shares with molly okay and now he's got a, a credit for 11 shares over here for joe so now he, the broker initially had one now joe has 10 so now the self-clearing broker has 11 shares in street name and now this broker has 101 shares okay let's say that this happens again Okay. Let's say there's another another broker. Okay. And he has one share. And and Dom he wants a thousand shares. Okay. So there's a thousand shares that are submitted to the market maker. Market maker lists his long again and gives a credit of a thousand shares. So now there's a thousand and one shares credit that are held in this broker. And a thousand of them are held in credit for Dom's account, but they're still listed in street name. Okay. So now this broker has a thousand shares. And this goes on and on and on. So now all of these accounts have, I, you know, all these accounts are basically, it's just one big IOU, okay? Because they, They did not settle and I think that's what's happening is 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 over months and months and months of, of people buying stock and holding it the brokers end up with you know just giant numbers of shares or a billion shares in an IOU form okay and basically nobody was settling and I think that's what a lot of the stuff the NSCC and the options clearing corporation the NSCC deals with broker dealers okay the options clearing corporation deals with options and they're what they've been doing is FTDing the options they've been FTDing the the long transactions and 
everybody has has IOUs in their accounts and there's there was no settlement done and all the shares that were being shorted these brokers that had gobs of shares they were loaning okay basically I'll, I'll, I'll briefly explain that so we have Joe and Sally and Molly And they had, you know, let's say they had a million shares. Okay, sorry about that, guys. So basically, uh, So this firm wants to short a stock, okay? And they want to short XYZ stock, which is what Joe, Sally, Molly have credits for in all these accounts, okay? Well, they're gonna come up here to the market maker. He's gonna be like, oh yeah, you want to short a stock? I know somebody that's got 500 million shares. This guy is gonna loan out a million shares, okay? I can loan these out and you can sell short into the market, okay? And and then this just keeps happening. When somebody sells short, well, they're selling into the market. So who's buying all that stuff? Well, we're probably, you know, retail ends up probably buying all of that stuff. So then all of our credits get FTD'd and IOU'd and basically the, the share count just explodes because nobody settled. And that's what I wanted to get at. I know this is kind of a mess, but that's my basic hypothesis is that nobody settled, nobody um, you know, came to the table for T plus two, nobody coughed up the money, and the brokers ended up having massive amounts of shares in their accounts in IOU form, and and they're all like, hey, if you wanna short the stock, I got this big pot of shares you can short. And that's all they are is FTDs, or IOUs, whatever you wanna call them. And, and I think the NSCC is ready to bring the hammer down because people are gonna be like, hey, you owe me some money for some shares that you sold me, and where are they? It's time to settle. And the pain is gonna come from that. I mean, it's gonna be, if they really enforce that rule, it's gonna be horrific. And, and that's what a lot of these guys are talking about. These brokers getting blown away, these clearing houses, banks, whoever it was that was holding these shares and using them and loaning them out again and again and again because they're getting interest for loaning out those shares, the pain is gonna come. And that's why this play cannot go away. It cannot disappear because of the monster that they've made by doing the FTDs the way that they've done them. Uh, either way, guys, I hope this wasn't super confusing, but basically the shares that we've been buying are now being sold into the market as short or FTD'd and nobody was settling. And I'm just interested to see what happens from that. If you guys have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave a comment below. Again, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this is financial advice. And this is just some ridiculous theory. Anyways, thanks guys.